Okay, Jet. I can turn around now? You can turn around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Hello. Hi, babe. It's so beautiful. You're taller than me. Right I'm taller than you. You're a lot brighter than me, too. I'm going to do the meal. <laughs> We are gathered in God's presence to unite Jethro Kwok and Bethany Chan in marriage, an estate instituted by God, regulated by His Word, and to be held in honor by all of us. I, Jethro, offer myself to you, Bethany, to be your husband in marriage. I promise to love you with all my heart and to be true faithful and kind in this love. I promise to stand beside you always in times of joy, in times of trial, and in times of sorrow. I dedicate our marriage and home to Jesus Christ according to the Word of God. I, Bethany, offer myself to you, Jethro, to be your wife in marriage. I promise to love you with all my heart and to be true, faithful, and kind in this love. I promise to stand beside you always in times of joy, in times of trial, and in I dedicate our marriage and home to Jesus Christ, according to the Word of God. I promise to always make you feel special, wanted, cherished, treasured, and all those things that you, you so deserve. I'm honored and blessed that out of all the people that you've encountered <laughs> in your life, you chose me to be your wife, your partner for life. It's really something that God started and that God does. But isn't it wonderful that God, because He created us in His image, wants us to cooperate with that. And when we cooperate with what God is doing, that's where the greatest fulfillment and joy always come. God designed marriage to be a refining process to enable both of you to develop into the special persons he designed you to become. The husband and wife relationship should be a clear reflection of Christ's relationship to His Bride, the Church. I do now declare them to be husband and wife until death do them part. To quote the Word of God, Jesus Christ, whom God has joined together, let not man put asunder. You don't need my permission, but you can go ahead and kiss her bright. <laughs> it is my privilege to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jethro Kwok.
Life comes at us fast and furious, and um, it's a roller coaster ride. But uh, you know, Amy and I, we're, we're excited to be on that ride with you guys, ride or die. And um, not only us, but you know, you look around in this room, right? Like everybody here who you love so much, um, and everybody loves you back, right? So you don't just have friends in this room, you have family. So on that note, I want to propose a toast to Jet and Bethany. Much joy and love and, and peace. We love you guys. For the longest time, he know his mom is need his help, and he put aside his personal agenda to serve the family first. And I think from this day onward, we treasure your relationship with us too. We welcome this newly couple in the family. We treasure you from this day onward. It's a new relationship. You broke away. You are a new family. Christ, and we want to support you. We want to love you as how Christ loved His church. Back eight, eight to nine years ago, uh, we, we had this really big phase of working out, right? Jet, Justin, Nelson, you guys are all here. And on Wednesdays, it was my, at my house. My parents would cook for us, right? We called it Workout Wednesdays. And then my mom always made us call home each night when we were away at school. So Bethany would call home during dinner time around 9 or 10 o'clock, and we were like, oh, it's calling. Well, guess what, Jet? Congratulations, because you're marrying it. So, <laughs> so if you guys can raise a glass. Let's just toast this newlyweds. Wishing you the best of everything in life. Cheers. Cheers. It is my honor, my privilege, to introduce to you in public the new Mr. and Mrs. Jethro and Bethany Quan!